Hi everyone, you may have seen the headline in today's New York Times talking about IUD use and breast cancer risk. And this is an important topic, so let's talk about it. So this study published in JAMA is a study from Denmark where they looked at thousands of women between the ages of 15 to 49 using progesterone IUDs. Um, Marina is the one we commonly think of, but other brands are Loretta, Kylina, Skyla. Let's talk about the results. The study shows that yes, using a progesterone IUD does increase breast cancer risk, but here's where the statistics and the numbers are really important. The statistics tell us that based on this study, patients using a progesterone IUD have a 40% higher chance of being diagnosed with breast cancer, but the actual numbers remain really, really low, translating to about 14 cases of breast cancer per 10,000 women. Let's look at it in a slightly different way. A woman who is 30 years old in the US has a one in 204 chance of being diagnosed with breast cancer. If she were to use an IUD, that translates into a 1.4 in 204 chance. So the absolute increase is really low. So we're thinking 40% higher chance, but what that translates into in actuality is a very small absolute increase. So what does this mean? This was a large study, looked at a number of patients, but there's still questions that remain. One of the things that we don't get from this study is what kind of breast cancer patients were being diagnosed with. Were they going for breast cancer screening? Had they started breast cancer screening? Were they, at, were they at high risk to begin with? How often were they getting their screening, right? These are all questions that I want to know. I do not think that we should stop using IUDs. I think this is an important part of counseling, but I think what it really does, it highlights the importance of that breast cancer risk assessment. And what that is, is sitting down with your doctor and talking to them about your breast cancer risk, when you should be getting screening, with which modalities, what age to start, all of that. And this study and this data just again highlights the importance of that. IUDs are a very important and helpful tool for so many women. And I think when we think about the data and we think about the headlines, we wanna come back to the fact that the absolute increase in breast cancer is really, really small. We don't know a lot about the type of breast cancer these patients were getting, screening, all of that. So there's a number of questions and limitations in this study that are raised. But I think it's one more piece of counseling and information that we want to share with our patients and that you as a patient can ask your doctor about. Let me know your questions on this study and I'm happy to answer them.